Hello everyone. Uh, recently I did a, a video on a cargo net for a Kia Sorento 2014. Uh, basically I got this on Amazon for a really cheap price, under $10 anyways. And uh, I, I wanted to, to follow up that video by showing you how I'm going to mount this net into my uh, Hyundai Santa, Santa Fe 2003. Uh, it basically um, It'll fit perfectly. The only problem is that the Santa Fe doesn't have any anchor points for the net. So I went out on the net and I actually found some uh, suitable anchor points. And I will put links for both the net and these anchors uh, in the video description below uh, at Amazon. But basically what I want to do is show you how to uh, mount this net into the Hyundai Santa Fe 2003. Now, this hardware will actually work in just about any vehicle that actually fits the same size. So if you have a vehicle that has no cargo net, uh, you can actually use this cargo net and these anchors in it because they just screw into the, the actual plastics in the back. So if you're looking for a cargo net solution, as long as you have the right length this, uh, of this vehicle, uh, this cargo net and these anchors will work in it. Now I'll show you how all this works. Uh, you know, I'll give you a quick overview of how the anchors work with the net and then we're going to mount the, the anchors in the rear of this car and you can uh, decide whether it's going to fit in your car or not. I will measure it out. I will show it, tell you how much uh, room you need or how much uh, length it requires to be taut and uh, fit correctly. Here's the anchoring hardware. Uh, we've got a set of four screws that go through the center of these an anchors and uh, these anchors look like this. They have an adhesive back and basically the loops will go around these. What I liked about them was that they're they're easy to uh, fasten the loops from the net onto and easy to take them off but they will hold it very securely so uh, it's a really nice uh, setup and I like the adhesive on the back that we can use to stick them on as well for extra uh, basically securing to the plastic and uh, the screws are uh, you know wood screws which will go perfectly into the plastic so let me show you how this works uh, let me back off there okay so here we have the net with the two loops the upper loop here lower loop here and basically all that happens here is we just take the loop and put it around like so and once it's in there it's it's in there pretty good like even at a 90 degree uh, it still will hold it right so as you can see there, it does hold it even at 90, but I'm not going to have it at 90. I'm going to have it probably around uh, this angle like so. But uh, regardless, it's in there well and it's easy to put on and take off when you need to take it off. Just unhook it. So that's what I like about these and why I bought them because they're just near to the uh, type of uh, anchor that, I, that my Kia Sorento has as well. And basically they're, they're you know, uh, their form factor is, is small. Uh, they're practical, they work perfectly, and uh, you know, just what I chose for uh, hooking these two loops to your to my uh, uh, cargo area. Now you can use other fasting methods if you wish, but uh, I recommend these because they just work great. Here are the measurements for the loops uh, on the actual cargo uh, net or bag, and you can see here this is the top and this is the bottom. And you have about 11 inches in between them. I did measure them out on the Sorento and the actual anchors are 13 inches apart. But uh, these are bungee so they will stretch to that distance. And that will make it a really nice taut fit. But uh, if you don't have 13 inches, I'm sure 11 will do just fine. Or 12, anywhere between uh, 11 and, and uh, 13 will be great. I'm going to try and get it as close to 13 uh, inches uh, you know, in distance. Uh, between the anchors as I can. We'll see when I get to the vehicle whether I have that much space. I suspect I don't or I just might just have enough for it. And also notice here that the bottom of the bag uh, extends beyond the loop so uh, that's by design but uh, regardless it doesn't seem to affect anything on the Sorento when I put it on there. So uh, it's a matter of where you want it, uh, you know, where you want the mounting points and how, where, how high and low you want the bag. But that's the uh, distance there. So you can probably get away with uh, 11 inches in span or uh, all the way up to 13 because I know this fits on a 13 inch span on my Sorento. Here are all the tools I used on this job. I've got a drill, cordless drill, a 1 8 inch uh, drill bit on it, a ta tape measure, a marker, and a number two Phillips screwdriver. And I will have a link to all this stuff at Amazon in the video description below. All right, I've got the cargo net stretched out here and uh, 
loosely, like without any uh, tension on the shock cord on the top or on the bottom. They're both shock cords or bungee cords. They stretch. Uh, it's 43 inches or, yeah, I'd say about 43, 44 inches. Uh, and that's not really tight enough to hold anything. You'd want that at least to stretch at least another two inches. So I'd say about your minimum stretch would be about 46 inches. So you need a span across here that would be about 46 inches minimum. They'll stretch way, way further than that. Uh, the mounting points on the Kia Sorento that this net fits on perfectly are 51 inches apart. I don't even have 51 inches in this trunk. I have, probably have barely 51, but I probably get about 50 inches of stretch on it, which will be plenty enough for me. Uh, but again, just trying to tell you that you can go further than that. You probably get another seven or eight inches past uh, 51 inches of stretch, but then it gets a little too tight. So, you know, I'd say anywhere, it'll fit a trunk anywhere between 46 and 55, 56 inches wide. So. Uh, you know, if you're planning it on putting it on something other than the Santa Fe, uh, those are the limits. And remember, the top and the bottom uh, do stretch, so it's not a big deal. It can be stretched to fit. So next, we're going to mount the anchors on the actual uh, rear pillars and go from there. We're looking at the rear corner on the passenger side. Uh, I put two little dots here with my Sharpie to indicate where I'm going to put some pilot holes in there. I'm using a, a eight inch drill bit. Uh, to uh, put these holes in and that's much smaller diameter than the actual screws that come with these um, My reasoning here. Well first let's measure it out here We got approximately 11 inches between the two and uh, If you look you'll see that these actually uh, stretch out a little bit further, but uh, regardless I want these to be on a flat surface. As you start to go up here, you get a curved surface, and, and that means that the adhesive on these, on the back of these, won't actually hold too much. But I wanted the a little bit of stretch between the bottom and the top uh, on the net as well. I mean, you can adjust it afterwards. You can move it if you wish. But uh, I'm drilling it in here and down here. Now on the bottom, you don't want it flush with the floor because if you get it flush with the floor, you won't be able to get the uh, the actual uh, loop through the actual. Uh, around the, the anchor. So uh, that's where I'm putting mine. You can eyeball yours, put it where you wish. I, I My basic thing was uh, put them out as far out as I could to get as much stretch on the, the actual cargo net as possible and as much uh, on the up on the vertical side uh, as I could to get some stretch that way. So let's just do, uh, put a couple of holes in there, drill a couple of pilot holes. Pilot hole number one, and it's not very thick plastic, but it doesn't need to be. Uh, the, the wood screws will hold on to it quite well. And uh, let's put the second one in there. And don't drill too far, just until you feel it go through the plastic and then stop. You, you know, you don't want to go into the metal behind it or, you know, if there's anything behind the panel, you don't want to hit it. So go as, uh, only as deep as you need to to get through the plastic. So at, that po at this point, all we need to do just screw these in so that's what I'm going to do next so you need a Phillips number two not an issue there uh, you see the adhesive on the back you want to peel that off like so and uh, just screw it in these are wood screws so they'll, they'll make their own threads not a big deal um, I'm just going to hold it off I'm going to hold the center here and screw the screw in like so Basically, I want the screw to bring the anchor all the way in. Remember, you're going into plastic, so don't go super tight. That's good enough. I'm sure it's not going anywhere there. Nice and snug. We'll do number two here. Same procedure again. Just pull the uh, adhesive off the bottom. And screw it in. Remember, you're going into plastic. Don't go super tight. Just snug will do. There we go. Let's see if I have the same tension up here. I do. And I do. Beautiful. So let's just test fit the net on this side. See what it looks like. Put the loop around the bottom. And the loop around the top. And that looks really nice. That's going to work really well.
that's not going anywhere and it's stretching it out enough that it's uh, you know taut this way so that's good uh, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side well the driver's side same uh, procedure as the passenger side I see I've got it marked out here uh, pretty well exactly the same as the other side and they're still 11 inches apart and that's about as comfortable as I feel uh, putting the holes to keep these things as uh, flush to the surface as possible or flat on the surface so let's put a couple of uh, pilot holes in there for the the uh, screws like I said just go through the plastic don't go deep next uh, same procedure again just put uh, take the adhesive off the back and screw them in same procedure on the bottom Again, remember you're going into plastic, don't go super tight. Let's uh, connect the, the net and then I'll show you the finished uh, product when I'm finished or the finished result. And it uh, looks like it's gonna work really well. There it is, net is up and uh, ready to secure uh, material. So I'll show you from the rear facing in what it looks like. So there you have it, the, the net fully uh, installed, looks great. Uh, this tab here, you want it on the outside part of the uh, bag because it actually helps you to really nicely open this uh, whole bag up uh, quite easily and quickly. Uh, so let's uh, just first uh, go through uh, how easy it is to take off. You just pull it off the uh, anchors and off it comes, really nice and easy. Put it back on, put it back over the anchors, like so. And it's solid, it's not going anywhere. Uh, let's put a few things in here. And as you can see, it holds them nicely. It'll keep them from rolling around in the, your cargo bay area and everything will be secure, just like what a cargo net is supposed to do. Uh, there's these, just so you, in case you don't know, there's these little hooks on top that go over the top, over the uh, other cord and that will lock the bag together. So. Uh, those are all the features and as I said looks great if you've got a trunk that's uh, I'd say 46 inches to about 56 inches in width this net will do these anchors will do if you have the space on the corners or someplace on the trunk where you can get them uh, fastened down correctly and uh, you know basically uh, I'll put all the links to this hardware and this net in the video description below that's it for my video thank you very much for watching if you like this video Give me a thumbs up at the bottom right hand corner over here. And uh, if you want to see further videos from me in the future, uh, someplace here on, the, on this uh, uh, screen, you'll see a link with my face to subscribe to my channel. Again, thank you very much for your time and thank you for watching.